Hello everyone and welcome to another video and we are recording this video for our playlist online earning or freelancing where we are uploading videos and we are trying to teach uh, how to earn online right in last video in this in the playlist of online earning we have i have shared four i guess four or five platforms from where i am earning and one of the platform was shutterstock contributor right this was the platform shutterstock contributor so on this platform we can buy and uh, we can sell images if you want to buy you need to create your account on shutterstock and if you want to sell your images you need to create your account on shutterstock contributor right we have already discussed about uh, this but in today's video what i am focusing is that i want to tell you how to uh, fill out the details about an image by details i mean what you need to put in the title of the image how to find out the correct keywords for the image because the whole thing depends upon the title description and keywords for the image right so i already have submitted 19 images so today we will uh, submit one image for review and then we will try to fill out the details about that image let's start there are 19 images in my portfolio which i have uh, I haven't submitted yet there are three steps actually these are the pictures which I have uploaded after uploading I need to fill out the details about the image and then I will submit it in second step it will go into the pending tab right after that the shutterstock will send that image uh, for review right after review Shutterstock will either accept your image or it will reject your image. If it, uh, Shutterstock rejects your image, then obviously Shutterstock will give you the details about the rejection of your image, right? Like there is one image of mine is under review and it has been rejected. And they will give you the reason of rejection, like content, contains noise, film grains, and compression artifacts right these are the reasons they have rejected this image so let's try with another image i will submit another image today so it will help you out let's select one image let's try this one out the, there are two images i think these are almost similar so we can select these two images when you click on the image you will see these multiple items to fill out right you will find out the image type its usage and then description you need to select category one and then category two is uh, optional and then you need to write down the location it's also optional and then you need to write down the keywords it's important right so let's start image type Obviously, this is not an illustration. If it is, uh, if your image is an illustration or artwork, you can select illustration. But in our case, it's not illustration. It is a photo. So we will click on photo in image type, and then for usage, either it is for editorial usage or commercial usage. I will select commercial. Uh, when you are going to select the editorial, whenever your image. Uh, contain some sort of copyright issues right it is mostly used by the uh, news in news agencies or reporters they usually use to take a uh, editorial type of images so in our case it's commercial image it can be used anywhere by anyone and there are not any sort of uh, copyright issues in this image right so I will select commercial in usage and then in description i will write something about this image like uh, let's say um, 
mesmerizing let me ah uh, mesmerizing mesh green wheel of a field in north of Pakistan right I think that's enough and then we can we will select the category wherever it falls obviously the best and most relevant category is nature right and second optional category you can select maybe parks or outdoors or maybe holidays let me select parks and outdoors right and the location is Gilgit it's a city in Pakistan so after that keywords is the important point by default it uh, uh, Shutterstock gives you some keywords on the basis of the images if they are relevant and suitable you can click on them and select them and add them to your keywords right you can add up to 50 keywords outdoor sky environment plant hill tourism mountain blue sky scenery summer grass right we have selected 21 keywords which have been recommended by shutterstock and still we have we can add 29 more keywords from where you can find them so that's the important point here is a, here is the point where you need to click find more keywords when you click here it will take you to it take you to another tab and you will find a lot of pictures right and you need to select at least three pictures which are very close to your picture right my picture contains uh, lush green fields with mountains so I can select this one this is more close to the picture I have uploaded and maybe this one and this one when when you click on the third image you will get keywords you can uh, add keywords from here like destination season and then uh, maybe you can select roof because north of Pakistan it's uh, Karakrum ranges Himalayan ranges these are known as roof of the world so this keyword is also relevant and it's sort of a village too and then life maybe agriculture it's in Asia field valley and farm i think that's it and some keywords you can add by yourself too and you can click here attach to the selected so now we have 31 keywords still we can add 19 more keywords you can type here like it's in pakistan right so you can write pakistan that's it second keyword you can write like uh, mountain ranges uh, maybe you can write peace peaceful peace of mind and then peaceful nature nature landscape maybe forest mm, forest landscape so that's it i think 37 keywords are enough so 
the main purpose was to teach you how to find out the keywords, right keywords for your image. So I think we are almost done. Now you can click on submit. Now you can see that here is 19 images, right? After clicking that, these two images will move into the pending tab and to submit, you will left with 17 images. So now these two images are under review. These are pending. After one or two days, maximum within five days, your pending items will be reviewed. Within five days, we will let you know when they have been reviewed. So maximum within five days, you will get the review. Either your images will be accepted or they will be rejected. If they are rejected, you will obviously get the reasons of rejection. So on after finding out the reasons, you can uh, consider these points and you can take care for the future images. So that's the way you can upload an image on Shutterstock. So for each and every image, you need to do proper uh, homework so that it gets selected and whenever after selection whenever it will go to your profile and whenever someone downloads it you will be get paid for that image so i i hope this was helpful for you guys and we will come up with more videos for our playlist online earning so for today i think it's enough so see you guys in next video till then goodbye take care